How to search in QuickBooks Online. Hey everybody, this is Matt Holtquist with the QuickBooks University. And I got this question from a member of the QuickBooks University at qbuniversity.org who was asking about searching in QuickBooks Online. And so I wanted to put together this video and show you how simple it is to do. So there's a lot of times you, you just gotta find something. You're looking to search within QuickBooks Online. And what you wanna do is you want to go up here to the magnifying glass. So we're going to click on this magnifying glass and this is this is the basic search. Okay? So you can see here it's got some search tips. You know, search for customers, vendors, transactions, search by name, address, amount, date, uh, type create. So you can go up here and just click uh, type create and you can add a new invoice, expense, etc. Now, if it's a pretty recent transaction right here, it's going to show you some of these. And if you want to view more recent transactions, you can do that. And that way, if it was something that you did just, you know, just recently, just click on this and say credit card expense, for example, and it's going to take you to that credit card expense. So if you need to adjust this, if you need to, you know, avoid it, change it, whatever the case may be, you can go directly to that. So let me X out of here. We're going to go back up to this. Let me just show you how this works. So let's say that I knew there was a transaction for $45, but I didn't know what it was, but I need to find it. So I can see here in my QuickBooks Online file, there are two transactions. One is this invoice 1033 and one is a time charge. Okay. So if I need to go to either of these, I can simply click on this. Now, if I want to search Let's say office, it's going to say, okay, transactions, Mahoney mugs, 622 office supplies. All right. So it looks like in this sample QuickBooks company file, this was everything that was put to office supplies and I can click on this and go directly to it. Now there's going to be certain situations where you are going to need to do an advanced search. So let me click on this and show you what it is. So this advanced search uh, allows you, gives you some more filters. You can kind of pinpoint down to certain things. So I'll show you here. So we have this selected first. You want to hit this drop down. You can go to all transaction lines, all transactions, bill payments. You can see if you know, okay, this is a bill. I need to search for a certain bill. You can do that. If you need to search for checks, credit cards, whatever, payments, statements, transfers, you can do that. Now we're going to keep this one broad and we're going to say all transactions. Then we're going to say amount. Okay. You have the amount, amount line or total display name. You've got all these different options. Now, sometimes when I am reconciling a bank statement and I'm off, so it's not reconciling, it doesn't balance. And let's say that I'm off, you know, $628. I'll go into the search and say, okay, let's take a look at, maybe there's a certain transaction that's not recorded right. So I'll go in and I'll say amount and instead of equals, because I don't know the exact amount, it's $628. I will say greater than or equal to $500. All right. And I'll click search and it's going to give me all the transactions within my file that are over $500. So you can see here, it's all types of transactions, credit, payment, deposit, invoice. Now, if I wanted to narrow this down, what I can do is search on a specific item. Okay. But I'm going to keep it as all transactions right now. Now let's say that the date I, you know, I want to change the date on here. I want to keep it just during certain dates. I'm going to click this drop down. And let's see, I'm going to say this month. So let's click apply and we'll see that there is only one transaction over $500 for this month. Credit card credit, 900 bucks. And if I want to go to this, um, I can do that. But let's say we'll go over here. And let's see, there's the transaction. If we want to change this, if there's something different we need to do to this, we can certainly do it here. Now I'm going to click X and go back out of here. Let's say, well, you know what? I'm going to look at past 30 days. Let's look at the past 30 days. Let's see what showed up in there. All right. So I've got a lot more transactions here. I got, a, you know, the credit payment, deposit invoice, and I can look back through here and see if any of these transactions look like one that might be throwing my bank uh, reconciliation off.
Okay, so you can you can see the, the power here that you can use if you're looking for certain transactions in QuickBooks. It's really, really simple to do uh, to find things quickly in QuickBooks Online. If you have any questions, any comments, feel free to leave those below. Also, head over to the QuickBooks University. Join me over there in the masterclass at qbuniversity.org.